Hello, this is Sage the Balloon Sage, and it's amazing what you can make using simple dollar store balloons. Just look at this awesome mini arch. I'm going to show you a few unique balloon decorating techniques that can give you the skills to make an array of arches of different colors, patterns, and sizes. Arches that require no internal support structure. This template is comprised entirely of balloons, from the linking process to the weights at the bottom. And I paid only $4 for a few packs of nine inch rounds in two complimentary colors. And a small bag of these long skinny balloons normally reserved for figure twisting. Now, I love working with pricey name brand balloons, but these dollar store alternatives are just as good for DIY decor. And although it's my job to make this look easy, prepare your hands for a workout. Remove two size 260 balloons from the package and cut them into five scrap pieces. So I've got my scissors here, cut them right about there. You don't even have to cut, you can just pull it on the blade. And put one to the side. Each piece is knotted five times. One, two, all in the same place too. It's a compound knot. Three, four, and five. Then you just snip off the scraps. Line up five blue nine inch rounds and drop a knot into the nozzle of each one. Dropping that right in, kind of shake it around. Boom, it's in. It's very important not to inflate these by mouth as you could accidentally inhale the knot. So I'm using my Qualitex hand inflator. Slip the nozzle over the pump with the knot trapped inside and inflate each balloon equally six full pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Counting on the downstroke, removing, and tying. Inflate eight pink rounds. Six pumps each. Two, three, four, five, six. Matching the blues. Pair them up by tying them together. And spin them into these four balloon shapes called quads. This is the resting position. So flattened out, they look like this. Four balloons together in a square or diamond shape. In fact, that's how you connect them. Square, diamond, one on top of the other. These are the basic building blocks of all columns and arches. Finally, inflate 24 pink rounds, one full pump each. That means up, down, pull off without letting any air escape. Tying off, you take two of those, pair them together as we did before with these over here, and take two of those pairs and spin them together into these tinier quads, which we will use as spacers on the arch. Now that everything is inflated, it's time for the admittedly trickiest technique. Take two of these 260 balloons out of the package, and once again, we're gonna cut them into five scraps. I'm just gonna cut this one in half, and this one into thirds. It's the easiest way to do things. Now there's no easy way exactly to describe this, but find the top center of your balloon, okay, and pinch it. Now turn it over. You're going to pull up on the nozzle, you might feel the uh, knot down there. And once you've created kind of like a cone shape at the very bottom, you're going to find the knot. You grab it with your right hand, switch it over to the left hand, and now you twist the balloon. It's a little difficult, I know, but I'm going to demonstrate it one more time. Take the scrap in your left hand, if you can believe it, yes, you're using the left hand for that as well, while holding the knot. You wrap it around about seven, eight times, and without losing control of where that knot is, you're going to tie right under it. So. It'll take a little bit of practice, as some of these techniques probably will, but it's really ultimately worth it to create such beautiful balloon decor. Top center. Flip over. Find the knot. Grab it with the right. Spin it in the left hand. Take a scrap. Grab with the left hand. Spin it around about seven or eight times. Don't lose track of that knot. Use both hands if you have to. The best way I can describe it is a pinching grip. One, two knots, and you have your homemade Linko loop. This is a water balloon weight. It's more intrepid than you might think, as one round balloon is inserted into another by twisting it, just like this, nice and twisted, 
opening of the nozzle of the second and just again twisting it right into the open mouth of the second balloon. You grab the edge, pull down, and in no time you have a balloon inside of a balloon. Then just fill it up on the kitchen sink the way you would a water balloon. It's finally time to bring everything together with one last 260 that you fold in half and then cut right in the center. So each one of these scraps is going to go on either one of these balloon weights. I'm going to tie it on. And again, a double knot. And the arch's bases are pretty easy as you slide the weight into the center and wrap one of the scraps around. Taking a smaller quad, sticking it into the grooves of the larger previous quad, and then wrapping that same scrap all through, attaching both quads and making a nice secure base for your arch. We're going to be linking all of these 9 inch blue rounds together by taking the nozzle of one, the scraps on the other, and spinning them together the same way you paired up the balloons before. Beautiful. Let's tie one end into this base. And the other end into this base. One by one, the smaller quads are slid into the intervals between the two blues. Just like that. And they hold perfectly. And you kind of want to line them up, position them all in the same way, the smaller quads that is. And we'll slide in the next one. We'll jump around a little bit, but that's okay. It's actually quite simple from here on. Slide it in. And you may see some scraps like this. You can cut them off or you can just kind of cover them up if you don't have a lot of time. There's the third and the final. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you see here, you're going to love what you see on the Balloon Sage channel. So please subscribe. I've got balloon decor. I've got simple balloon animals, deluxe balloon animals, stuff you've never seen before. So please subscribe. Please like this video, and I'll see you on the next tutorial.